toughness, competitiveness, style of play game. I've got the utmost respect for Coach and his program. And uh, I think this, this game is going to show up really strong uh, at the end of the season. I, I, I see that as one of the best ball clubs we've played. Uh, both teams shot a little bit better than normal. Um, thank goodness, again, 19 out of 21. I was just reminding our team, it's amazing how I notice when we make 19 out of 21 and barely get by on a victory. And it's amazing how many other people would notice if we went 11 for 21 and we fell short. Uh, those are important points, and they, they break runs. Uh, the last thing and the most important thing I see on the stat sheet was the fact that Denver, Denver was only able to th uh, uh, throw up six threes a second half. This is a team who averages over half their shots from three and over 25 threes attempted. We knew we couldn't take away their athleticism and their layups and their threes, but I thought our guys did a pretty good job of making sure they covered the three for most of the night. Uh, and I thought that was one of the keys, at least for our team. Big were, you know, Luke and Lynn Larry tonight. I know it looked like they really were trying to take Leonard out of the, out of, at least offensively, though he had assists and still did some good things. But, boy, those guys came up. They both with the career highs tonight. Yeah, I, you know, Larry and Nancy, what can you say? You know, he guarded a perimeter player. We made that decision yesterday. Alan Edwards thought it would be the best matchup. <clears throat> and then 11 for 11 at the foul line. Uh, I, I, again, I, I repeat it, it's, it's – uh, not amazing to me because I see it all the time and I'm pretty old school, but it is amazing how no one ever talks about, puts on TV, or really magnifies the significance of making free throws. This may be, well, our third or fourth game we've shot 90% or better. And, and this was not a 10-point game. This was a six-point game that could go either direction at any time, both halves. And I thought our guys did a great job of really staying the course and making those free throws when they needed to. You know, free throw shooting, a lot of the time you guys are shooting well. I guess what have you learned over the years? I mean, what, what makes a team a good free throw I think team? good free throw shooters make a good free throw team. And so we've all tried to do certain things. If, if it was that easy, we'd buy it at Walgreens. But I did think in June we had a chance to do three things and needed to do three things with a new ball club. I thought we needed to learn how to defend, and I didn't know if we'd have 11 guys, 7 guys, 5 guys, but we would have to do that because I didn't think we'd be a good enough offensive team. And then I, I thought, looking in June, before we went on that trip to Canada, just looking at our statistics, who was returning, and then adding a couple guys, we could be a very good free-throw shooting team. I never dreamed 80%, but a very good free-throw shooting team. Lastly, I thought we'd be a, a pretty good patient, tempo, handling the ball team. We were not too good at that tonight because I thought they were a little bit more tenacious than us on the ball. You have a night where Leonard scores. I know you did a great job distributing the ball, but scored a season low eight points. I guess is it nice to see that you guys can find ways to score if, even if he maybe gets slowed down a little bit? Yeah, I don't think sometimes we appreciate what Leonard does. The Leonard sees a double. He leads us in assists. He sees a double. He drops off two dunks to Larry Nancy. Throws one ball out to uh, Darius Gilmore for a three. And so those were nine points that Leonard helped score. Um, they did a great job. They, they're, a, they're a blitz team on feeds normally anyways, but on Leonard they seem to blitz even sooner. And I thought he did a nice job. I thought his teammates got open for him. And uh, I thought Leonard played a good ball game. I mean, Udolfo's a terrific player. He's a high-level player. Was this a night where, where you looked at your squad and maybe you didn't want to give up 53.5%, but... You were glad that your offense was there tonight? We needed that bad. I was really happy. We banged home some threes, uh, eight of them. And uh, like Coach Donovan always says, it's so much more fun when you're banging them home. Because, uh, you know, when you go three for 17, or last year against Denver, one for 13 from three, I mean, it puts a big, big burden on your defense. And against a team as well coached as that, you're just not going to get the stops you need.
Right, what's it been in the, I know in the second half of the season, you guys have been just outstanding, outscoring. I don't know what the margin is, but the lot, and, and you did, you know, you outscored them in the second half. What are you seeing from your team in the second halves where, you know, is it, is it adjustments at halftime? Is it just, you know, staying the course? You mentioned free throw shooting. I know a lot of times that comes late in games too, but what are you seeing from your team in the second half, at least through these first 11 games? The, the, the biggest growth, I think, is, is them connecting. Um, I talk about that all the time with them. Not so much connecting on the right play or the right adjustment. <clears throat> when something happens and somebody makes a mistake, the ability to collect themselves and make the next best decision. We're always teaching our children. We're always teaching in classrooms. It's about the next best decision. I think this team, when they've made a mistake, or I've said when they've had some adversity, instead of chipping away and maybe disconnecting, uh, without our help, without my help, they seem to rally together, and uh, and it almost looks like the other team sometimes is scattering. So I, I you know, it's just a, an image that I have. I don't know if it's correct, but I like it, and I like them calling their own plays sometimes. Uh, underneath out of bounds plays, went to a timeout, asked Leonard and Larry what they felt would go next because I think they got a really good feel for the game for young kids. Riley's Riley came back. Did you like what he gave you, and was that was that you, what you kind of were hoping for? What, what did you think of him? Yeah, tonight? I thought he gave us great minutes, and then I was really worried when I saw his face when he was coming out. And, I, and, and now he tells me he's fine. He just tweaked it, but at the, the moment I saw his face, and I, I, I didn't like his face. So um, hopefully he's fine. We, we, we get through Friday, and he's got a built-in five-day window to rest. Our whole team needs some rest. They need some time away from me. With Riley played 16 minutes, I think that's more than he's played in the past two games combined. I guess is this new things kind of something that is probably not going to go away at any point? Is you just going to have to continue to monitor and see kind of where he is after every game? You think? Well, he, he's. We were worried about the the uh, the immense pain in the knee. That is not here anymore. And rest, uh, and hopefully the provided rest during the holidays will will remove that. Now it's a matter strengthen in different parts of the knee so it doesn't happen again. But uh, from what the doctors have said, I mean, he could be in pretty good shape. If he can give us a little bit, get us over the hump Friday night, um, I'm hoping by the 27th when we get back in the saddle here, uh, he's back 100%. Coach, you, you hadn't really been in a dogfight in the final couple of minutes this season, I didn't think, until tonight. Were you pleased with kind of how they, they handled what was really a, a tight game. I was Perfect. really, really pleased. I, I, th I thought we caved in on a couple of defensive possession, but on the other end, I thought we matched them. And when you're trying to come back, you can't allow a team to match you. And I thought not only making free throws, but our press offense was pretty good for the most part. We caught a touchdown pass to Luke, which we needed to, to open the game up a little bit. So I thought our guys closed the game out pretty well. And, uh, you know, I know Leonard was frustrated because he, he was forced to make a foul at the end of the game. But, uh, you know, playing an extra guard at the end gave us a little more ball handling and another free throw shooter. Seems like Luke has kind of get a knack for when there needs to be a big shot. He just seems like Luke is one of the guys knocking it down. I mean, is his confidence about, I mean, have you seen his confidence grow as the season? It's, it's, he seems like he's shooting the ball pretty well. I think uh, one of the, best things about Luke right now is Luke's in better shape right now than he was last year. Uh, we've got to make a, a good decision as a coaching staff how we ride him and how we rest him. So we're going to need him all year. But I think he maybe had an axe to grind. You know, last year he was really hurt. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, he was one for ten from three last year against this team, and he made it with about 20 seconds to go in the game. So, you know, we didn't talk about it, but I, I got a sneaking suspicion that he remembered.